Big round of applause for Melissa. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to chop your head off. I'm going to kill you like the little pig in the little slaughterhouses. <laughs> in many movies and books, that is how psychopaths are portrayed. People who simply, you know they're about to kill you. But in reality, we only encounter only like one psychopath in our whole entire life, according to Robert Hare, who is a psychiatrist. We, many of you, may walk the same path every day, and you're like, maybe right now you're like, have I walked by a psychopath? But we really want to know because in movies and well, books and all that, they are like Michael Myers, for example. If he's standing right there in the, in the window, let's imagine we're on the first floor, and he's there, then you're like, holy shit, I'm about to die. But if there's a regular guy just there, you don't think much of it. You're just like, he might be cleaning the window, he might be looking at someone in the room, but he's not about to kill him. So we can't tell psychopaths apart, they have no physical trait, and today we will learn why and its effects. Today we'll talk about why we can't tell psychopaths apart, why it is a, bis a big risk that we don't know psychopaths are about, or in, in between us, and how to be cautious. So now let's talk about why we can't tell psychopaths apart. So like I said, psychopaths don't have physical trait that tells us, oh, he's about to kill me, or her, she. In the book, the psychopath test written by John Ronson. He visits a guy who put himself in a psychiatrist's place, like where they take crazy people, because he thought that he would have a free life and he would play games all day. And, but when he realized that he wasn't, he decided to tell people, oh, I'm not crazy, let me out. In the book, Johnson, John Ronson states, the more he tries to convince people he is not crazy, the more they take it as evidence that he is. So in the book, he would complain and he would say that he was right, that he wasn't crazy, and they took it as evidence that, well, he was. And in life, if somebody complains in class or like wants to be right, we don't think much of it. We're like, oh, that's just them. But in the book, they took it as evidence, so they kept telling him that he was crazy. So in the book, they also describe different traits, such as charming, they don't learn from punishment, and they're manipulative. And let's be honest, we're all, we don't learn from our mistakes. Mm -hmm guys are charming to girls when they want to get at them. <laughs> and we manipulate people to do what we want. <laughs> so now that I have talked about why psychopaths aren't noticeable in real life, I'll talk about what are some risks. <coughs> so, well, obviously death. <laughs> if you meet a psychopath and he wants to kill you, well, you will die. <laughs> <laughs> if you get close to him, it's like, might as well dig your own grave because well, you're gonna die. <laughs> And Robert Hare, the same psychiatrist, states, it stuns me that it is possible to have people who are emotionally disconnected and destroy people with no concern. So they have, they don't have no remorse. So if they kill you and they, they like, once they're in jail or whatever, they're like, why do you kill that person? They're like, oh, I don't, I don't know why I killed them. Like, I don't care about them. So they just really don't care. So if you get close to them, it's like, you're dead. <laughs> so also, Psychopaths have everyday jobs and they hate it as well. So it is a risk to work around psychopaths because they think they're on top of the, like, they want to be the, like, everybody's the peasants and they're like the royalty. So once, like, a psychopath lays their eyes on you, and maybe about movies that's true, how in movies they say a psychopath goes behind, like, the same person the whole movie. Well, I mean, it's a movie, but in real life, when a psychopath has his eyes on you, <laughs> so now that I have talked to you about why it is dangerous to not know who is a psychopath, I'll talk about some precautions. So one thing is that you want to avoid people who are extremely manipulative and who are excessively violent. According to Claudia Muscovy on an online article written in 2011, she states, a psychopath is like a boomerang. You toss them as far as possible and they swing right back to you. In the article, she also stated that when people are well, very manipulative and excessively dangerous. Well, that could either be their way of being or they're psychopaths, but like I said, they don't have any physical traits, so. Do you guys really want to be able to tell me what, who is a psychopath here? Because to know they're psychopaths, that's their brain. You would have to know what's going on in there. So now that I have talked about some precautions you can take to not get close to a psychopath, I will begin to wrap these up. Now that you have learned more about psychopaths, 
you might know why it is so dangerous to encounter one. Today I have discussed why you can tell psychopaths apart and its effects. I first talk about why we can tell psychopaths apart, why it is a risk, and some precautions. So it is very shocking not to know who we encounter every day, but then again, I could be Mikaela Myers and you wouldn't even know. 